Hello, I'm going to show you how we can convert decimal positive integers into binary so we can represent them in a computer. Okay, so starting with these two questions, which I'll go through in a second, if you have got an idea of how to do these conversions, I would suggest pausing and having a go. That's how you learn these, really. If not, I'll start now. First of all, converting 1111 to decimal. Now, we know this is in binary because I've done a little 2 subscript. This just shows we are in binary because if you didn't have the two, it could be 1111. I mean, if it said you're doing it from binary, you should imagine that, but the two can be helpful. Right, so my first step in finding this one out is always to write down the number again, nice and big on your page. And the next step I always do is draw a table around it. And this table is the place value table I've shown in a previous video. So as always, we start in the far right column with a one. And because we are in binary, we're not going one, 10, 100, 1,000 as we would do in decimal. We're now going one, two, four, eight. We're doubling each time because we are in base two. I can draw a table as best I can on a graphics tablet. Now it's really easy to figure out what this number is in decimal because all I do is add up the column heading when I've got a one written underneath. Now here I've got a one written underneath all of them. So I just need to add up eight plus four plus two plus one, which is 15. And I could do a little subscript of 10 to show I'm in base 10. Now just a couple of things to note here. I could have kept doubling, right? I could have gone one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and so on until infinity. I, I stopped because I only had four bits to contend with and I've got four column headings. Just to give you a new concept, the one, the, the bit on the far left, so this bit over here, is what we call the most significant bit. And the bit on the far right is what we call the LSB, the least significant bit. Remember a bit is a binary digit, just a zero or one. So the MSB and LSB can be either zeros and ones too, but it's just the one on the far left of your representation, and the LSB is the one on the far right of your representation. Now. The MSB is most important because it's the biggest representation. You know, the one on the far left is representing eight, whereas the one on the far right is representing a one. And so eight is bigger than one, and so this bit is most important. We often consider the MSB and the LSB when thinking about errors, because an error which affects the MSB or bits around the MSB is much more damaging potentially and an error which affects the LSB or around the LSB because the MSB's values are representing bigger numbers and so it affects the overall number much more than the LSB would. Okay, now for my second question here, converting 0011010 to a decimal integer. So here I've got a byte because it, we've got eight bits. The gap left between the two nibbles is just to make it easier to read. So to take the LSB and MSB here, the MSB is this zero, and the LSB is this zero. So it doesn't matter if it's one or zero, just far left, far right. Okay, first step to convert is to write out the number. Next step in the method I would use at least is to add in the table. So always starting at one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Just doubling each time. And now I'll add in the lines. Okay, and now all I'm doing, like I said before, is adding up for column headings when I've got a one written underneath. So here I've got 32 plus 16 plus two, which you can do in your head potentially or do it as a column method. This is 50. Again, I can do a little 10 to show it is in base 10. Now the nice thing about this topic is you can just try these out yourself by making up numbers and practicing conversions. But if you want two questions to try, here are two more. So pause and try these to see if you've understood this. I'll show you the answers now. So the third question here, the answer is 187, and the fourth question is 243. If you tried those and got those wrong, just have another look at your maths, maybe rewatch my two worked examples. 